Hey, so I thought I would just take a few moments to make a vlog updating you guys on all of the positive things that are happening in my life because today has just been the shittiest day that I've had in a really long time. I'm having a huge fight with my mother and we never fight, like ever. And um, my birthday present was a wheelchair ramp, which I've wanted for years and it finally arrived. Turns out it doesn't fit our porch properly and I can't use my power assist with it. And at this stage of my physical health, I'm not in a position where I can wheel, I can propel myself up a ramp manually, even one that's at a proper slope. So uh, we're gonna have to pay to send that back, hopefully find someone who can build a ramp at an affordable price or maybe even for charity. I don't know, soon, because we've already had one snowfall and we really want to get this done before winter and it's just so depressing because I feel trapped in my house all the time and this sucks and it's just a lot of other really shitty shit has happened today, but those are the two big ones and I just kind of want to take my mind off of it. So I can't remember everything and I didn't make a list, which in hindsight was probably would have been a good idea. So I'm just going to tell you all the good things I can think of off the top of my head, and I'm sure you guys will be filled in a little later in my future videos. So let's see. Oh, and these are in no, uh, like chronological order or anything. It's just literally what I, whatever I can remember first. Um, oh, Bugsy and I got a raise, which is amazing. And you know, with how little I work, obviously, it doesn't really make any difference in terms of my financial life, but it just feels really great to be recognized because I work very little. I mean, about as little as you possibly can without just being jobless. And I love my job, but I know that's one thing that a lot of employers and a lot of businesses actually don't do. Is they just don't give raises to part-timers. So I'm really honored and I was nice to be sort of recognized and respected for all of the hard work and effort that I put into because most healthy, you know, full-time workers wouldn't, I think, really recognize how much I have, to, how hard I have to work to be able to work, if that makes any sense. And I love it, but it's not easy. And it's just, it's nice to know that that is seen and appreciated. And I'm so proud of Bugsy because not that I need verification that he's legitimate, but that's kind of one of those things that's like, oh wow, he, you know, just kind of looking back on it from a general overall point of view, it's just kind of like, wow, he's, you know, he's good. <laughs> he's good enough to work regularly with this handler and over time actually get a raise, even though he's not really the one getting raised, but you know what I mean. I'm not making any sense right now, but I think it's just kind of like a badge of honor for him more than me actually so I'm very proud of him and he's been amazing as always um what else is there there's a lot of other good stuff that's happened it's just I can't remember any of it um the other thing on this list was gonna be the ramp but pff, that didn't turn out well um oh so kind of good and bad I lost Bugsy's special ring which, for those of you who don't know, it was a gift from my mom. The outside reads one day at a time, and the inside is engraved with Bugsy with two little hearts and his adoption date. It was originally kind of just like a nice sentimental gift, but also because whenever people ask me how long we've been together, I could never remember, and I was devastated when I lost it because I'm not a jewelry person. Anyone who knows me knows that I loathe jewelry, but since pretty much day one of having that ring, I almost never take it off, and losing it was heartbreaking and I got my replacement. It's not the same, but it's still, I feel like myself again, having it around my neck. Uh, I really miss that. So that's good. And, um, oh yeah, part of the reason I haven't, well, the big, huge part of the reason, in fact, most of the reason I haven't vlogged for a long time now is because my laptop kind of died and I finally, finally got another computer so I can start doing these vlogs again yay um and that's that's another reason I think I've been so depressed lately is I've just between almost never leaving my house and being so sick lately with all the doctor's appointments and everything it's just 
I kind of feel like I have no life. And I mean, I already kind of didn't have a life to begin with, but this has just been tough. So getting back to vlogging is, I think, going to be really good for me, both emotionally and cognitively as well, because I haven't been doing anything lately and it sucks. I hate it. So if you guys have any requests or um, just anything you'd like me to do, just please let me know because I'm desperate to vlog again. I've missed it so much and now I finally have the tools I need to do it again and I'm just, please, please give me suggestions and ideas because I need it. Um, I, I swear there really is more. I can't think of it right now so I guess I'll just leave it at those. Um, I'm sorry. I just, I, I needed to give myself a reason to not go home yet and take my mind off of this awful, awful birthday. But, um, so I guess that's the big news is I'm coming back and I am not going to make like a routine schedule of when I'm going to post because I tried that once and between my unpredictable health and my memory, it just, it wasn't fair to you guys because I couldn't, no matter how hard I tried, I just couldn't keep that commitment and I don't want to make promises I can't keep anymore, so I'm not going to do that. But I can promise you that I am going to try my hardest to post regularly as in like once or twice a week. Again, I'm not going to make a schedule of the exact date and time when I'm going to post, but I'm going to absolutely try to get back into a routine of posting at least weekly, if not more. Uh, so, so stay tuned for that, and thank you to everyone who's been supportive of everything, of, of uh, everything that's happened over the last, I'd say, half year or so. It's been kind of hectic, and we've gone through a lot, and for those asking about the ketamine, I will talk about it one day. I'm not at a point where I'm comfortable enough to talk about it. I got footage of my infusions, some footage, and it's just, it's not something I feel comfortable sharing, either showing you or just even talking about it. I can't even talk about it with my family, frankly. Technically speaking, it saved my life. I'll kind of leave it at that, but otherwise it was by far the most horrible experience I've ever gone through, <laughs> and I just, I can't talk about it right now. I'm hoping once some more time has passed, maybe once I've had some more infusions, that'll change, but for right now, Please respect that because I'm like, I'm shaking just talking about, thinking about talking about it. Um, but yeah, I guess, I guess I'll end this video here and I'm sorry I don't really have more to tell you. If I make another update vlog, I, I'll be sure to make just a really quick list beforehand so I can actually tell you everything I wanted to tell you, but uh, just know that for now we're okay, you know, obviously I'm, I'm not great, but we're managing and I think getting back to vlogging is really going to make a difference in both of our lives. So I really want to do some training sessions too. I think that'll be, I, I love making training videos. I've only made a couple, but I think that'll be really fun for both of us. And I just miss vlogging so much. I'm sorry I keep saying it, but I'm going to go and uh, yeah, go back home where I always am. So have a nice day, and I hope it was better than mine. <laughs>